It's Wombat Jones for Ramen Chokehold, and this week on the show, we have one part of the main event that takes place this Saturday night at the Mansfield Tavern down there at Aftershock 29. We've got Matthew Young, Lee Manwa. How are you going, champion? Yeah, lovely. I'm in my pyjamas, just chilling at home on a Sunday afternoon. How are you? <laughs> mate, you're casual as. I'm fantastic. Yep. Just finished the watching the UFC. But, mate, how do I go on the name? Where's that name from? Where, uh, what's your heritage, mate? Um, I'm My mum's from Hong Kong and my dad was born in Australia, but he's still of Chinese descent. So long story with the name if you want to hear it. <laughs> yeah, mate, give it to us. We want to know where you're from. This is probably the first time that, you know, the legions of your fans are here in front of you. <laughs> okay, so on my grandfather's birth certificate on my dad's side, it was supposed to be um, Peter Lee, but they mistook um, my great grandfather's name. Uh, you know how Asians put their surname first? So Lee was the surname. Manwa was my great grandfather's first name. But because the Westerners didn't know that, they just put Mr. Lee Manwa. And that's how I got, yeah, the Lee Manwa. So I think I'm the only Lee Manwa, my family in, in world. <laughs> yeah, mate, that's a that's a cool story. So um, when did your uh, when did your family come out here? Is that when your when your grandfather came out here? Was it? Yeah, my um great grandfather came here in the 1900s, probably right at the start. So we were one of five or ten first Chinese families in Brisbane. So a lot of heritage. <laughs> Mate, that's what I like to call Chozies. You're, you know, they're... <laughs> <laughs> we call it ABCs, Australian born Chinese, but yeah. Here we go. So, mate, oh, I can't not... speak. <laughs> oh, you don't I speak can't any? Speak Mandarin, can't speak um, Cantonese, nothing. So, so you're, no help if we, you're no help if we get a fight over in China. Uh, yep, yeah, terrible. <laughs> I'll call it my mum. <laughs> so, mate, not only that, but I did a little bit of reading up, and you've actually got a couple of degrees. Uh, you know, you got a degree in economics and environmental science. So, uh, you know, yeah. how, where's where's that come from? You know, and next minute you're uh, you're turning professional as an MMA fighter. So, uh, so have you put that into use? Yeah, yet? I'm straight out of high school. I did fairly well in high school, and you are kind of expected to go to university. And I had no idea what I wanted to do. So, I um, did environmental science because my dad is an environmental scientist, and I love nature, hanging out in the camping and all that. So, yeah, I, I thought I'd do that path. But then I'd also be like, oh, business is quite important. I could get a business degree on it, on top of that for, with an additional year. Turns out that I preferred business over economics um, while studying. So, yeah, I um, studied environmental science and economics on top of that. And I did more in economics. So right now I'm... Um, Probably a postgrad qualification of masters in economics. Yeah, too much and study. Then I was like, "Fuck working full time." You know, I gotta, I gotta pursue my passions, which is MMA. Gotta enjoy my life a little bit more. So, yeah, that's how I got into MMA. So, you know, was uh, were you training as a kid? How did you sort of? What was your first sort of introduction into any sort of martial arts? I used to punch on with my neighbours back in the day <laughs> when I was really young. But no, um, I did Taekwondo when I was younger um, in high school. I had a good friend, Marcus, who um, did Jiu-Jitsu and he'd always beat me up. So I decided to go down to the closest club, join a Taekwondo school. After Taekwondo, during university, I did a bit of Judo just to um, get the grappling aspect. And then the Judo club closed down. One of the judo boys went to integrated, so I followed him along, and I've been there for five, six years. And uh, and here we are. We, you know, we're in the yeah. we're in fight week now. We're in fight week now of your <laughs> professional debut, which is kind of insane, I guess, for you. So, uh, how's it been? How's fight week? You know, starting this week, you know, today, I guess. How's it been? Uh, it's been a kick in the face. Like I went to a cafe this morning. All I had was a coffee. While everyone else had their, you know, meals. Was um, that a black coffee? Uh, yep, 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 plain. <laughs> nothing with it. No sugars, no equal, nothing. Um, yeah. Um, so this week I'll just be trying to shed quite a bit of kilograms, but I do that primarily through diet and do maybe two or three kilograms by water. 
so I've I've been surrounded by a knowledgeable bunch of boys at Integrated. So yeah, I'll be fine for weigh-ins. I'll always make weight. And speaking of the boys at Integrated, I mean, when you train there, I talk about it. Whenever I talk about Integrated, it's like you're talking about the who's who of Australian MMA. What's it like for yourself having those boys and training in and around those guys, you know, who where you see they're on the bigger promotions like your coach and Adrian Pang on one, you know, and then you got Benny Nguyen and, and all those in the UFC and Damian Brown. What's it, what's it like when you're on this, you know, sharing the same mats and going through practice with those killers? Um, it's inspirational. So I take a lot of inspiration from Adrian. He is in there every day. So I've got to be in there every day. Um, that's how you achieve your goals through hard work. Um, yeah, it gives me a lot of confidence, um, training with the best. So I know the skills that I am learning are applicable to, um, top level competition and, I see how they train. I mimic that. I kind of personalize it to my own lifestyle. Obviously, I can't afford to go full time in training, but yeah, it's 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 inspirational and yeah, confident boosting. And so, what do you do to support yourself while you're trying to chase this dream, mate? Um, I got three jobs. So my first job is a tutor at QUT. So I tutor economics from first year to master's students. Um, you know, classes of. 20 to 30 um, students. Um, I also tutor at an international school, which is a subsidiary of University of Queensland. And um, I also work at childcare. So that's the job I just picked up out of random. And um, I do before and after school care. Love hanging with kids. So, mate, yeah, I looked at your record. You've only had three, you know, sort of. I've three. had um, four amateurs. Oh, where's the yeah. missing one? Yep, there's a missing one. Damn tapology or whoever I read that shit from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, okay. that's tapology. I tell you what, though, here's a little bit of a shout out. Here's an idea that I got thinking about, and maybe some of you fighters can give me some feedback. But I'm also I'm thinking about doing fighter profiles only for Australian MMA and chucking them up on chokehold. So if I can get some feedback for some gyms and some coaches and some fighters off that. I'll have to work my absolute ass off doing that, but I'm thinking about I'm thinking about doing a little bit better too than uh, what they do it. So uh, let me know. But anyway, so you had four yeah, amateur fights. Great. Yeah, man. I'm. I'm. I yeah. think it would be. Uh, I think it'd be a super idea. But um, you know, back to it. You you had four Emmy fights. You know what? Yeah. What made you decide to go pro? What 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 was it that um, you know sort of went off in your brain and went? You know what? Fuck it. I'm going pro. Um. I've been training for a while now and it was kind of difficult to get fights even though my record's pretty average. So I would be putting my name up for um, particular fight dates, training hard but having no one to compete against. Um, my last couple of fights, um, I don't think I performed at my best. I knew I could do way better than that and I still hung in there, won one, lost one. Um, that was with a torn ACL and a number of other things. So, yeah, um, I think it's about time, train long enough, train with the right people, um, and I'm definitely fitter, stronger this time. And, you know, you're headlining the card, or you're headlining the card against another guy who's making his professional debut in Ezra James. Yep. And, you know, what do you know about him? You know, is there much to know? You know, is there a lot of footage out there that you can study upon him? And give me your think, thoughts on, on how you think the fight will go down. I think um, Ezra and I are headlining because we're better looking than the co-main event. <laughs> That's a shout out to Nick Skidmore. So, yeah, Skidmore, terrible looking bloke, terrible guy. But yeah, um, so what I want to know, to... what I want to know about Skidmore is, did we get enough uh, votes for the fake tan? I I think we did. <laughs> I think the the number of votes was one that he needed to get a fake tan, and um, yeah, hopefully we'll get a fake tan before his fight. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I don't know what Adrian will say. But, yeah, um, what do I think of my opponent, how the fight will play out? Um, my opponent, um, Ezra James, he – I remember watching him compete on the local scene in Brisbane. So I'd always thought I'd um, get an opportunity to compete against him. So I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, I know that he has heavy hands. He's gone against one of the integrated boys back in the day, um, and that was a close fight. That Ezra won in the second round by TKO. In the first round, um, Tegan had him, almost had him in a triangle choke. So um, I think I'm going to exploit um, 
Ezra's weakness on the ground. Um, so, yeah, um, I plan to just take it to the ground. It's pretty simple. It's a striker versus grappling match. Everyone knows about that. Mate, and it, and that's back to the olden days of, you know, when the UFC first started, <laughs> isn't it? And that's some of the funnest yep. fights to watch. So, now listen, if no one's got a ticket, I don't know why they don't have tickets. It's down at the Mansfield Tavern, and we know that that place rocks when it gets full. So uh, do you have many tickets left to sell, my man? And if you do, where can people uh, get them from? Yep, um, all tickets are available online through the Aftershock website. And remember, enter the code MANWA29. <laughs> Not Skidmore 29. Skidmore 29. That, that's a, that code will add price to your ticket. Manwar 29 would be the code to put in. <laughs> now, mate, uh, before we go, you know, why don't you let us yep. know uh, UFC just finished. Who are your favourite fighters? You know, who do you like watching? Um, I'm, I don't really watch the UFC all that often. I'm more of the old school. Um, my favourite fighter would be Genki Sudo. He was quite entertaining, if you remember him. The the yeah, awesome yeah. walkouts, um, his motto, just everything about him. So, yeah, um, current USC fighters, I just look through my team whenever my team's on. So Damian Brown, Ben Nguyen, any of the other um, Australian fighters, I I love watching. But yeah, that's not what so we're much. about here, baby. We're all yeah. about Australian MMA. Eh? That's it. That's it. Australia and New Zealand. And New Zealand, we slip them in it's there, one. but only, yeah. but only if they're kind of like you know crowded house yeah, or good. Russell Crowe. You know, they've got to be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Se -se Not if they're losing either. <laughs> <laughs> now, mate, uh, where can we find you on social media? You are a bit of a funny bastard, so people should be following you if they're not. So, uh, why don't you let everyone know? Uh, yeah, no, my, my, my name is Iron Chopstick, and if you want to find me on Instagram at Iron Chopstick. <laughs> so, yep. <laughs> Follow me there. Sometimes I have serious posts, sometimes I don't. It, it was originally an MMA and gardening page. Gardening's also one of my hobbies. So, yeah. But I've, I've kind of cut back on the gardening aspect. It, it, it's too niche for my kind of audience. Maybe just stick so, to the MMA and see how you Yeah, go. yeah, yeah. That's what the fans want. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there he is, guys. So make sure if you're in the Brisbane area, you get your asses down in the Mansfield Tavern. It's going down this Saturday night, which is the 19th, isn't it, mate? Help me out. Yep, 19th. The 19th. I'll be there. You'll be there. And thanks so much for spending some time, buddy. No worries. It was my pleasure. Thank you.